Hi guys, today we're going to talk about um, a little bit tips for you guys if you were to buy um, sub-sale property. Now first thing first before I continue, same as always, if you haven't followed me on Facebook or Instagram, please do so by going here and then click like, subscribe or like. Okay, now um, again, today we're going to talk about sub -sale, and therefore if you're seriously um, want to become a property investor, I suggest you to download this Becoming an Investor ebook series at um, this uh, ebook.rapidpropertyconnect.com dot com right so how many of you want to buy or uh, maybe you want to buy um, a developer project and some of you you just want to buy sub sale property now when it comes to sub sale property there are even more uh, um, things and the due diligence that you need to go through now I don't want to I don't want to be, uh, make this video too long because um, it will take the whole day to tell you every single steps to buy um, uh, sub sale property but today I just want to share one element that at least is a tips for you guys if you were to buy sub sale um, a tips where you can at least know if there's any problem with the property now this is not something magic and then um, some of the investors wouldn't do this because they rely on the uh, on the lawyer but let me ask you this how many times that you engage a lawyer can do um, do the things for you before you even commit to buy the property for example normally we will um, we will sign the booking form conclude everything first before we engage the lawyer right now seriously this is the way now you, un unless the lawyer is your friend they can always do this for you right but what if I tell you that there's a way for you to double check if the owner is a legal owner and uh, beside using the SPA but you know if his property is Thai or maybe his hutang hutang means um, along or maybe somebody um, maybe put uh, restriction on the uh, transfer on the property so maybe something you can do it yourself right so let me show you how that this is one of the things that i usually do because when i buy property i need to make sure that the owner is a legit owner so a little, it costs a little bit of money but it's okay so as long as long as buy the property that is safe right now have a look into this let me see right did you know that you can um, when you buy a property, property land the property we will, we will do the developer will do subdivision and then you will have individual title right I did share about the high-rise building you will have strata title in uh, landed property you will have individual title right all these things is indicate just a piece of document to indicate who's the rightful owner right with this document you can confirm that um, the the people the vendor so so called the seller you're dealing with is actually the legal owner so this is very important um, some of the um, if you if you buy a developer project um, developer project you you wouldn't have to go through all these because you don't you don't need to check because if the property not even finished the property maybe is up in the air there's no wall no nothing but this is we're talking about sub sale you have to do some kind of uh, due diligence uh, beforehand to make sure there's nothing wrong with it right so this is something we call um, a title um, whether it's a strata title or as an individual title is the it's same way of doing it now what is the there are two types of the um, of search we call it the, uh, the title search there are two, two. one is the individual search which is the uh, um, charian person diran right and the second second search is the uh, charian rasmi it's the official search where official official search is where the um, the officer at the land office they're going to certify that the, all the information is correct now but we don't want to go into this because what we need to do um, normally um, when you sign the booking form you can request for the SBA you can have a look to double check and then you have, can get the IC to make sure that the uh, the seller is a legit one 
same as well the seller will will get your ic to make sure that you are the um, the who you say you are right and the second way how you determine that he is the um, who he or she that selling the property is a legal owner is running through the um, the title search right so what we have here this is uh this is strata title now obviously this is a high-rise uh, property now let me zoom into this um what you can get from here is that sometimes a sub sale they will have uh, it depend on the uh, the property that has been changed um, if the vendor already um, purchased from uh, from the sub secondary market which is he getting sub sale as well so normally in that case the SBA in his SBA should indicate the existing um, title in the SBA right um, um subject to that the uh, the title was issued when the uh, the owner the, the this current vendor um bought the property however if he bought from the uh, developers um directly for the high rise normally they, you won't get this kind of uh the title in the spa unless if it's the um the landed property where normally it's already subdivided they will have the parcel and the lot number right so for this uh, sub sale um is uh it's a very good because you can search that they um uh is the number they given um by the owner um is there um you can see um the the uh half million number the number lot and the uh number bangunan daerah and then you can see the uh, normal beta where have all this information right and uh, how big is the, uh, the property and then you can see if it's a freehold or leasehold it doesn't matter to me because um i'll, I'll do another videos for this because uh, um there are still people asking for um, whether should they buy leasehold or freehold to me it, it, investment property doesn't matter it, it's okay if you get leasehold or freehold but that's the story for another day right so um kawasan reserve no if it's a uh, it's a reserve no and then some kind of uh plan details and how much and when was it registered right all the all this information and this is where it's very um this is where the uh, the details of the uh, the uh, owners this here and this is the uh the um jmv will written down here right and also um you will see um the information um i i struck it out um blur this out this area because uh, it contains sensitive information which um i'm not going to disclose and, uh, and also sometimes they will have the um uh the banks because you most of the time you get a bank for loan right so you have um who's the um the people that actually have a legal ownership the legal ownership basically is the the owner registered to this uh, title but also um whether or not there's any loans attached to it right so and then you will have any changes in the uh, the ownership it will show here and then also for this just run into this it just cost you 30 ringgit now if you can spend 30 ringgit for this and then to pull this information and then it will it will like at least give you um, a sense of security that um the property is actually the uh, which the uh, the vendor actually claim it is and then you can make sure that um it can actually nobody else is um putting a caveat into uh, this property now what is caveat the caveat is, is um is anyone with the interest on the property will let it be uh, uh maybe the um in terms of monetary or maybe some kind of uh, any kind of interest on the property when that this is the thing um if you are going to buy if you, this is your first time lawyer will check for you definitely but it's just that um before before we do this before we pass it to the lawyer we will we'll do a quick search that make sure all these things are in place for example when i saw this uh this title of mine um there wasn't any uh besides the, the bank there wasn't any people um, lodge uh, any caveat into this property it means that um the owner the vendor uh he doesn't um owe anyone's uh money or anywhere so sometimes you have to be careful when the uh, if there's a lot of caveats um, lodged into this property you have to think twice should you be 
um, uh, investing, continue to invest in this property because um, you might have um, a trouble. The first one is that you need to make sure that the first right of the, uh, the property is the, the bank, of course. Um, the second one, if there's a lot of property, uh, no, a lot of caveats in the, this property, you will have a lot of difficulty in finding the host, the people that actually lost this, this uh, caveat, and then you need to lift it up. Say, for example, if there's somebody who lost this caveat because of uh, their owner owes him 100k, and that's a, uh, um, who's, uh, is the owner is going to pay, um, pay the 100k when you sell the property, first thing. Second thing, the price that the owner sells you the property, is it enough to cover for the loan? This is another question. So uh, um, if, you, if you're serious um, to buy any kind of property, any property at all, um, I suggest you do a quick um, title search, um, individual search to make sure uh, that the property that you buy is, um, is nothing, there's no caveat, right? So this is something that's uh, very, uh, I think, uh, very important. And then I usually do it on, on my end for my own property because I need to make sure that I don't want, um, uh, um, I go uh, spend all the time until the uh, the lawyer part and that's where we find all this uh, caveat thing and then it's a really big hassle. And then I don't want to go into all this hassle. I can always find another kind of property uh, from the same building. Now. Um, for how how you're gonna do it, it's much easier if we do it in the uh, uh, I call it um, in KL because in KL you can actually do it uh, online where you go to pdgwp.gov.my and you register yourself here and then you go to the PDG KL. It's just at the uh, um, Dataran Medica, I think, near the Dataran Medica. And then you just verify yourself by giving um, a thumbprint and also the IC. And then once once you activate it, you can search the um, um, the owner uh, for the title. It's much easier. But for those people, for the property that you're going to buy is in uh, other states, for example, um, in KL. No, in, in Slango and other states, you might need to go to individual, individual land office. It might be in the uh, 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 PDG Daera or maybe it's a uh, PDG Mukim. It, it really, really depends. So you have to make sure that um, based on the information given in the, uh, the title, go for the respective um, um, land office and then extract the information. So, and obviously, if you want, if you don't want to do this, it's fine because normally the um, the lawyer will do it for you. But in my in my way of uh, investing property, I need to make sure everything is in place. I don't want to spend too much time to one property. Um, by the end of the day, I cannot get right. That's the one thing. Um, and also, um, this is something very important for you guys as well, um, where. Uh, let me put this out again. This document, a uh, title search is good if you're going to um, to invest in the auction property because sometimes auction property, the reason why they auction the property is that the, uh, uh, because the, the previous owner, they defaulted on the loan. Now, when they defaulted on the loan, it means they are unable to pay. When, when they're unable to pay, what it means? means they um, they don't have money right um, and this when they don't have money i suggest you guys really really highly recommend you guys to do all this uh, land title search because you need to make sure they, there's no caveat onto this uh uh, uh property because although if you buy if you buy from the uh the um the bank or the auctioneer or you buy uh, from the high court yes you can somehow um or you are legal owner, but sometimes you never know um, who's their creditor out there. So you have to make sure that everything is in place. If it's too much caveat, you have to make sure that should you be um, considering to, Im uh, to invest or to, to bid for this auction property, although it's cheap, right? So this kind of thing. Uh, yeah, um, if you're not sure about the, um, the legal part of the auction, um, the auction, property i suggest you find a very uh, good um lawyer that actually deal with this uh 
um, Ocean property before So I hope you guys learn something for this uh, Because um, I think this is something useful for me And then for those of you is If you're going to invest in subsale Or if you're going to invest in auction property I hope this thing will at least um, give you a tips On how you safeguard yourself as the uh, uh, investor Alright, hope to see you guys next week Alright, see you bye